Redcon 1 is the bodybuilding, gun shooting, America loving, most Florida workout supplement company in the market, and I love it. Over the years, I've spent a couple thousand dollars on the protein and pre-workout supplements from Redcon, and I really like them a lot. They just recently started selling pre-made meals, which you can buy individually or in these curated boxes. I decided to go with the chef box. It states that it has 12 of their very best meals chosen by their chefs. I figured that if I were to start somewhere, this would be the best place to start to get a good representation of what they have to offer. I'm going to try to give these an honest review. I don't want this to be super long, so I'm just going to go through the highlights of the notes that I wrote while eating them, and then I'll say whether or not they are worth the price, which comes out to about $12 per meal. Just as some information, I'm pretty sure these are just rebranded icon meals, and I'll give my opinion on that at the end of the video. To start off, I tried the two breakfast options that came in the box. One of them is a scrambled eggs and bacon, and the other is an American breakfast bowl. At first glance with all of these meals, the packaging is really nice. The macros and calories seem pretty well balanced, and besides some preservatives, the ingredients list isn't something you need a whole day to read. The scrambled eggs were lackluster, but all prepared egg dishes are. There's really good bacon flavor, and the peppers brighten the dish. The only real complaint that I have is that when reheating, the peppers release a lot of water, making everything soggy. Up next is the American Breakfast Bowl. From the start, I had a really hard time opening the cover of this dish, so I just ended up using a knife, but I'm sure they have to use a strong adhesive in order to create the steam dome while it's heating in the microwave, but god is it a pain to open. And it's not just this one, it's almost with all of them. I don't know, maybe I'm just a weak little bitch. Once I got it open, I was really excited to see how hearty the meal is, only to be disappointed that the two sausages on top were actually just one sausage cut in half. The sausage was actually really good. It was well seasoned and probably one of the better breakfast sausages I've ever had. Except for the same complaints that I've had from the previous breakfast item, a new complaint and ultimately the biggest complaint that I had with this dish were these goddamn potatoes. I don't know what about them I hate so much, but they're tiny and they're rubbery. And just a thought, I don't think doing breakfast items is a smart move. I feel like the majority of the customers that already buy Redcon products have a protein shake for breakfast or maybe make their own protein pancakes with the protein powder. The next four meals are beef pizza, shredded barbecue chicken sliders, cheeseburger mix-up, and beef enchilada bake. I'm not gonna lie, from the looks alone, I was actually terrified to try the beef pizza and the chicken sliders. They aren't the prettiest things to look at, and I wasn't sure how well bread products would work in a steam container. So I'm not going to say I was right, but the beef pizza wasn't the best, and it was probably the worst meal I've had from this box. The beef was really dry, and there was barely any sauce or cheese, and the bread was just gummy from the steam. Maybe it would have been better to take this out of the packaging and then reheat it in a cast iron skillet, but I guess that defeats the whole purpose of having a meal ready in two minutes. The chicken sliders weren't much better either. It comes with a side of those god-awful potatoes, and the chicken needed some more barbecue sauce or something to keep it moist. And the bread reminded me kind of like day-old bagels. It is re really not much to say on this. Oh, except for when I opened the sandwich, it kind of reminded me of the Subway tuna sandwich. Next is the cheeseburger mix-up, which, you guessed it, comes with another side of those fucking potatoes. I decided to give them a second chance, but just like with giving anyone a second chance, it's just the same disappointment. The ground beef wasn't making me happy either. It's literally just lean ground beef and some cheese, and by some I mean very little. With cheeseburger in the name, I would assume there would have been some chopped onion, maybe even some pickle, or just something in it that would make it a cheeseburger flavor. The ground beef alone just feels like sand in your mouth, and it's very grainy. If they left the ground beef a little chunkier, I think it would have made for a better experience. Then there's the beef enchilada bake. Once I got this open, I was pleasantly surprised with the amazing aromas. I decided to mix everything up to combine all the flavors together and to try to get a chipotle burrito bowl type thing going. Believe it or not, this actually seemed a lot cheesier than the previous cheeseburger mix-up. The ground beef texture doesn't bother me as much in this dish because you have other textures going on from the vegetables and the rice. The only critique I have for this is maybe a little more cumin or some smoked paprika, or if you want to make it spicy, maybe add some chipotle to it. I decided to add a little Cholula to it and then just set it off. This meal is actually the first one that I completely ate. Now for the final round of meals. We have the diced chicken with rice and green beans, steak fajita bowl, 
pulled chicken bowl, chicken stir fry, chicken with sweet potatoes and broccoli, and chipotle lime chicken. The chicken with rice and green beans is exactly what it sounds like. It's a very plain meal, but the rice is actually seasoned well and the chicken breast is surprisingly moist. This is a very good lean option. The only complaint I have is that is this really worth $12? I'm not one who buys many prepackaged meals. I usually do my own meal prep, but $12 for this seems a bit steep. Maybe the price is lower if you buy this individually, but within the box, including shipping, this is $12. Next is the steak fajita bowl. I was a bit concerned with microwaving this meal with this container of salsa in it. I don't know why, but it kind of grossed me out knowing that it was with the food. Besides that, everything was delicious, the steak was tender, the rice was well seasoned, and the beans were creamy. Maybe if there were more char on the pepper, and maybe some onions added, this would be perfect. Regardless, it was good enough that I ate the whole thing. Next is the pulled chicken bowl with cilantro rice. I don't have much to say about this one, it was kinda just meh. The shredded chicken was pretty dry, but the rice and vegetables saved the dish with its bright flavor. If I were to give a suggestion, it would be to go away from the shredded or pulled chicken products. They seem to dry out when reheated, and I guess you could always add condiments, but I was solely reviewing this based off of what comes in the packaged meal. Next is chicken stir fry with rice and Kyoto blend. Not really sure what is Kyoto about this vegetable blend, probably just the edamame or something, but that's not very important. This, like the chicken, green beans, and rice meal, was good for what it is. The chicken was moist, the rice was tasty, and the vegetables were bright. I still find it hard to justify $12 for it though. The chicken in this meal has a slight soy sauce and sesame oil flavor to it, which is pleasant. I would definitely eat this again. Then there's the chicken, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. Just like the past two chicken dishes, the chicken is moist even after reheating. The broccoli isn't soggy and actually has a buttery flavor to it. I was worried about trying the sweet potatoes given the track record of the other meals with potatoes in it, but I was pleasantly surprised. These were actually delicious and peppery. Lastly, there's the chipotle lime chicken. The chicken was moist, but I was disappointed in the overall flavor of the dish. I was expecting it to be more spicy and more smoky. The rice was okay, it was just a little too sour and acidic from the lime. If they used lime juice, I think it would have been a better option to use lime zest instead so there isn't too much acid coming through. I felt like it was missing something in general, like the whole dish needed something maybe a charred onion, charred peppers, or something like that from the previous dishes. So here's the million dollar question, is it worth it? I was kind of disappointed in this chef's box in particular. They claim it was their best meals, and I'm not sure if that is best tasting or best selling, but I'd say about 4 out of 12 meals in this box were questionable. There are many other meal prep companies like Fuel Meals and Trifecta Meals. All have the similar price per meal, but I think Fuel Meals seems to have a higher quality and better selection. I am unsure if Redcon 1 partnered with Icon Meals or if they own Icon Meals, but I think they need to do some tweaking to their menus if they want to be successful in this venture. Cut the menu size down, focus on quality. I'm not saying my opinion is the only one that matters, I solely based this off of how they tasted and at the price point. I'm not taking into consideration if these meals help satiate cravings while cutting for a competition, or help gain muscle, or help to lose fat, or any of those. If you do not have time to meal prep, I really do recommend these meals. The macros are really good and they definitely fill you up, but make sure you pick the ones that you think you'll like best. If you do actually have time to meal prep and you're good in the kitchen, literally nothing will be better for you and your wallet than to cook your own food. If you've made it this far in the video and liked it, consider subscribing. I do more than reviews and I have a bunch of recipe videos and some shorts that I appreciate you check out.